this journey and initially when you when you think about it you're like oh it's going to take so long or it's going to be too tough or what are the challenges but you're not alone and you know when I think about all the people that's part of our cohort and the different avenues they're taking or the different types of responsibilities that they have in the in the world of education they're another resource for you I think it's a great opportunity for professionals to come together and bring their expertise uh, into uh, the university and uh, engage with the coursework in more meaningful ways. Uh, they also serve as a support system to each other as they go through the courses and build their own kind of research agenda and focus. Uh, you see a lot of collaboration and support and sharing of ideas. Uh, so really kind of bringing that back into practice uh, from kind of the, the academic theoretical world and then working with each other and their professors to make it practical and useful in their immediate work lives. The reading. Um, I consider myself a reader but you do have to keep up with the readings and also time management. You have to budget your time. It's also another, you have to say, okay, this is something else I need to put on my plate, something else I need to fill in to my already busy life, and we all have busy lives, but I found that very challenging, the reading, and like I said, I am a reader, but to get it in and get it done. So right now I teach EPS 8710. This is our readings course in general administration and I like to think of it as sort of the introduction to the best writing in educational research and policy. It sort of lays the foundation for all of your future work in the program and really introduces you to kind of the best minds in our field. So it's a fun course. It's called reading so there's lots of reading um, but it's it's taught like a seminar, so there's lots of discussion and interesting collaboration. I teach uh, doctoral courses in educational policy, both EPS 9610 uh, Policy Development and EPS 9620 uh, Policy Initiatives. Uh, the first mainly focuses on um, the the role of various uh, stakeholders in developing and implementing policy where the, the latter course looks at the effects of policy on uh, student outcomes and other educational outcomes. You, you go back to looking at your life. What does it look like? You know, there are some people with children. There are some people who have very uh, engaging jobs with long hours. Uh, and there are some people who work from 8 to 3, Monday through Friday. And there are some people who don't work at all. So you have to look at what does your 24-hour day look like? And how do you make this work for you? Uh, one of the things that I often tell uh, our students is when they're engaged with the, the coursework and particularly around their research and what they're hoping to do for their dissertation, that they really put in the context of problems of practice that they are dealing with within their own work lives. So part of the goal is to use the knowledge base, use the development of the research skills to tackle the problems that they are facing in uh, their everyday lives. And so working with their colleagues both out in the field as well as in the cohort, uh, it's a real true applied aspect of uh, the program. Because as I stated, we have these shoulders that we count on, right? There's nothing like some more shoulders. But one, one advice that I would give you is to understand that you're not alone. Just like I have a family, I have a full-time job, I have me that I'd like to, to, to take care of. But at the same time, 
I want you to think about is manageable. So come in it in this program with a positive point of view to think that I can do this, I can achieve this, and know that you're going to have some helping hands around you to get you through.